Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to layer video in Final Cut Pro. So let's create a simple project. I've got some sample video here. I'll drag it into a blank project. Expand it a little bit. So I've got this these few seconds of video here. Now I want to try to layer something over it. So I'm going to drag and drop in a graphic. This is just from the finder here and I'm going to stick it on top of the video. So now I've got a second layer. So it's kind of the equivalent in iMovie to using picture in picture except you can actually layer these things and see them visually uh, in the timeline here a little bit easier. And you can see this is just some text over a transparent background. I created this in just a graphics editing program. So because that is a transparent background you can see through it and see the word with the video underneath. Now I have a lot of control over the layers here in Final Cut Pro. The key buttons are these three right here in the middle. I can click this one and it will allow me to resize the layer. So I can make it bigger or smaller. I can make it even bigger so it fills more of the screen. I can also rotate it here like that by grabbing the middle. Or if I want I could click here and then actually crop the image. I can crop it from any direction here. So a lot more versatility than an iMovie if I wanted. So I can create a very tight crop around the actual piece of text. I can still drag it around pretty easily like that. And then I could resize it so it's a little bit easier to deal with and rotate it. Now I could do the same thing with another piece of video. So for instance let's grab this piece of video here, drag that in and create another layer. And when I have it selected I can do the same thing here. You can see I can resize it here so I can do the picture in picture type of effect. Stick it anywhere I want. I could crop it any way I want as well. I can even transform it using this third mode here allowing me to do all sorts of things. Let me grab the right video and I can transform it like that, like that, do all sorts of strange things to stretch the video and it's and it's video it will actually play inside of that transform shape. Another thing you may want to do with this is actually have it so it fades in. So if I take this text and I stick it up here in the upper right um, I may want to have it fade in. I can select down here in the project to show video animation. Now there are a lot of different things in here that you can animate. One of them is how opaque the image is. You can double click on that and I can actually shift over like that at the front and back. So now I can see as I scrub back and forth here I can see it blend in. You can see it's halfway in there. It blends in and blends out. And the great thing is of course I can have as many layers as I want so I can actually bring this video in as well here and I can select it, shrink it down and you can see I'm doing both the text on the right and this image here both overlaid at the same time. I can add as many as I want. So it's important to note in the example I was using that word beautiful that could have been done with a title of course but in a graphic I could have done anything there. I could have done a logo or graphic, some clip art, anything that was semi-transparent and if it's not semi-transparent I could still bring it in and use it as a solid square or rectangle over the video. So not only does this layering ability take the place of picture in picture from iMovie but it also takes place of cutaways because you can simply place one of these up as a layer and have the audio continue to play on the main layer and have the video replace it completely while still having the audio continue to play. Just select the video and remove the audio or lower its volume to nothing so that only the audio from one of the two layers plays. So I hope you found this look at using layers in Final Cut Pro useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.